The question today, we want you to weigh in. Open phone lines, 205-342-9904. Today's question is, who has the better season at running back? Is it Bo Scarborough? Is it Damian Harris? Is it BJ Emmons? Is it Joshua Jacobs? And be prepared to defend your position. Dan, welcome to the program. What's on your mind today? Well, thank you very much, my friend. Love your show. I appreciate you saying that. Thanks you so know, much. I was telling your screener man there that, uh, you know, a lot of us listen to you out here and they just don't want to talk. But uh, I was I was kind of interested in the thing about the running backs. You know, I think Bo Scarborough is going to be a – well, I think they've got four or five out there that's going to be just great. But, oh, but I got to saw, I, I got to see this guy way back, a couple of years back in Northridge play, Mr. Scarborough. Yep. And um, he ain't bad. <laughs> I mean, really, he's a, uh, I think Hank would call him a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and if we can keep his legs under him and uh, and and pray God he, he don't have no trouble with his legs and stuff, I don't see how anybody could stop him with a half-decent line, do you? I don't, Dan. And if you don't mind, I might steal your line this year in writing about Bo. He ain't bad. I might, I might steal your line and write that all year long. <laughs> well, my friend, I got to tell you something. For about 15 folks that hang around the fire every night and drink buttermilk, they're going to appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, when when you saw him play in high school, I was always kind of blown away. How did a high school player tackle Bo Scarborough? I mean, because he's, he's gotten a little bigger, but he's been that he's been that size you know, probably since he was 15, 16 years old. Yeah, but can I be a smart egg? tell you this absolutely they didn't <laughs> they just didn't you, i mean he would look one way and would be going the other way and everybody in the backfield would still be going the other way you're right dan and he's, I, he's just a great great athlete coach saban don't let somebody come in there this uh, iffy yeah you're and, right and I, I think we get our we get that offensive line straightened out and i think they will I don't know if a team yet, Coach Saban, ain't straightened out. <clears throat> but, Aaron, I'm not going to keep you, my friend. I love your show. And y'all have a great, great day. Dan, thanks so much for joining us. You have a great Wednesday. Yeah. I think I think Dan just has the line of the year, which I'm going. Listen, as, as Ryan McMunn said, he stole his idea to put the playlist of our show up. I'm going to steal Dan's line. Bo Scarborough, colon, he ain't bad. I don't know that there's. I don't know that I could write it. If I wrote a fifteen hundred word story, I don't know that I could wrap it up any more eloquently than Dan just did right there. In in three words, he ain't bad. Why why write fifteen hundred words when you can write three <laughs> words and get the entire point across? I mean, he Dan just stated so eloquently what I probably couldn't do in a thousand word story because it, he said it in such a way. That everyone, especially everyone in Tuscaloosa from the Deep South, knows what he's talking about. And that kind of down-home talk, he ain't bad. It, it gets across so much more anything that I could say interviewing three or four people. Then I don't even feel bad about stealing it because there are very few original ideas left. We're remaking Ghostbusters. We're on, you know, Star Wars is up to what, its seventh episode or whatever it is. You know, I think there's another 17 Rocky movies coming out at some point. So. Right. Harry Potter is going to get his own play opening in London pretty soon. So, listen here. I, I don't feel bad about stealing my man Dan's line. He ain't bad. I'm, I'm, done, I'm not even joking. That's I literally think that's better than any story... I could write about Bo Scarborough. Because I've been writing about him since he was a freshman in high school. There's not much more I can write. Literally, I've probably written 20 stories on Bo Scarborough. I've told his story again and again and again. And I'll I'll continue to tell it because he's now on a bigger stage. But I couldn't wrap it up any better than Dan just did right there. Next up, let's go to the go to the phone line again. Welcome in Kevin from Lexington. Kevin, how are you? Wow, bringing me in after Hank. That's, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> No pressure. It's like following Bob Hope. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no way I'm going to equal that. But, Kevin, you, uh, got, you got an opinion on this on this running back deal today? 
I do, but very first I want to mention that uh, based on my clock, I'm two hours and 19 minutes from finding out the non-conference basketball schedule. Yes. And because I'll be at work, yes, I've already reserved a conference room and another building on campus to watch it. Look at that. Um, Your dedication is, is admirable. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Here's my thoughts on the running back situation. I think the running back game this year for Alabama is going to be a three-headed beast. Okay. I think I think Emmons is going to get carries, uh, not as many as uh, Scarborough will and not as many as Damian Harris will, but I think it will be a three-headed beast this year. And this is nothing against both Scarborough. I think he's a phenomenal person, and I would certainly say that to his face. Um, I got to go with my boy Damian Harris from here in Kentucky. Um, you kind of stole my thunder earlier when you said he's a complete back. Uh, I think Damian will eat. We'll have a few more yards than Bo Scarborough, but don't be surprised if Bo Scarborough doesn't have more touchdowns because he'll get the ball down at the goal line because who's going to stop that inside the ten, five or ten yard line? Do you think it's a situation? You mentioned three headed monster. We saw a little bit of that in two thousand nine with uh, who was it in two thousand? Mark Ingram, uh, Roy Upchurch, and was it Trent Richardson? Well, Trent was, was number Trent. two. Yeah, so Mark Trent, yeah. one, Trent number two, and then. Roy was that kind of third down back, and then we saw it again with when Eddie Lacy snuck in there. Yeah, I think they'll allow Emmons to get his feet wet this year, uh, and based on the game, he'll get a few more carries than other. But I, I, and I and I like that personally. I mean, last year, you know, down the stretch, you have to do what you had to do. But I was holding my breath with Derrick Henry. I mean, you know, when you carry the ball that many times, the more times you carry the ball, the more possibility to get injured. You know, and uh, uh, so I, I like the multi back format myself. Yeah, what is it about Damien's game? I mean, you you did you see him play at all in high school? I mean, you guys are I, I did, and what people need to realize, and I'm trying to tell people this last year. I mean, he played at Madison Southern High School, uh, which is not the large high school in his county. That's Madison Central, and I'm shocked that they didn't get uh, him transferred over there. So he he played at a smaller level. Um, great back, but there again, and this is not a knock on his high school, but. Uh, jumping from Kentucky high school football at Madison Southern to the University of Alabama in the Southeastern Conference, huge jump. I was shocked that he didn't redshirt last year. So I wasn't surprised that he needed to be coached up a little bit, but that's not a knock on the young man at all. Um, he's extremely talented, extremely fast. Um, and uh, if you've met his mother, which I have, uh, other than the one day she had her Twitter thing, uh, she she's she's the boss of the family. So I don't expect us to see any trouble with Damian off the field. He's a really super young man. Great, great stuff as always, Kevin. I appreciate you calling. I hope you have a great Wednesday. And I, well, you too, sir. And I appreciate you giving a shout out to Burton Burns. If I had to list the five people in my life that I've met that were some of the classiest people, football, sports, non-sports, Burton Burns would be on that list. What a classy human being he is. You nailed that. He's he's one of the most friendliest guys in that building. You know, they're not allowed to talk to us but on the record, but he will always make eye contact, always smile, and make conversation to the reporters when they're walking through that building. So spot on with that observation. Always a pleasure. The few times I get to speak to him, I always enjoy it. He's a super person. Hey, I love your show. Thanks so much, Kevin. You have a great day. You too, sir. Let's go to Wayne up next. Wayne, what's on your mind, and what do you think about this running back situation? Well, I, I'm, 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 well, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe Damian Harris will be the primary back uh, because in terms of yardage, maybe not in terms of carries, but in terms of yardage, I think he'll be the primary back. I think you always have to worry about both Scarborough's injury history. Uh, him being from here locally and seeing him on highlight packages, but that's just that's just the way I see it. What it, what is it about Damien that you've seen that that leads you to believe he is a little ahead maybe of Bo? Well, I don't think necessarily he's ahead of Bo right now. But I think as the season goes on, I think you'll see Damien get more and more confident. And he's got a little bit more speed and chiftiness to him. Uh, Bo's more of a power guy. And I think you're going to see that speed really come into, come into play late in ball games after Bo has leaned on people for a while. I think Damien's really going to come out and have a lot of big runs because it's going to be hard to bring Bo down if he stays healthy. 
You know, Wayne, I think you bring up a good point that we haven't touched on today in the fact that last year, Derrick Henry was such a, he's six foot three, he's so big, he didn't have that shiftiness. He can't hide, he can't, uh, he didn't have a jump, jump cut, so to speak, of, of, of any, like a Mark Ingram. And I do think you're right. You get a shorter running back. Not that Damian Harris is short, but compared to Derrick Henry, most people are short. But there's a different style there that's a more traditional style running back. And, and Bo more resembles Derrick. And I think you'll see a, a – I think you're right. You, you'll see a more traditional running back style, which can be difficult. And those two different styles is very difficult for a defense when they've one, – one play you're facing one, the next series you've got the other can be – can give defenses a lot of trouble. Yes, that's the way I see it. So that's just my two cents on the issue. And uh, good to talk to you, Aaron. And uh, we'll see you later. Thanks so much, Wayne. I appreciate you joining the program. Hope you have a great day. Let's go to Jim in Northport. Jim, how are you? What's going on, Aaron? I'm doing well. How are you? All right. I think Damian Harris is going to have a breakout year. I kind of agree with uh, the last caller as far as uh, not necessarily with the carries, I mean, it's all going to depend on how Bo does as far as his injury bug and such. Uh, him, if he can stay healthy, if Bo Cochran can get the, get the job done with him, he ought, to be a, he ought to be fun to watch. But I think Harris, Mr. Harris is going to sit there and have the ball. But I won't go out on a limb right here. Okay. I've got a, I got a comment and i got a question. It's going to be kind of a funny comment. I love, I, gonna have, we love the funny here. All right, you're going to have Bo Scarborough at fullback, and you're going to have Damian Harris and Jalen Hurst back, and you're going to bring the wishbone back for at least a couple of plays versus USC. But just on the, on the upside of that, uh, if Harris has the most yards as far as by the end of the year, if he stays healthy himself as such, 